Good day. My name is uh, Jean-Luc Chassé. I've been doing a metal detector and history for some time. Just for fun. And uh, I contribute uh, in uh, Cape Breton to uh, NAR Research Office. Uh, I'm now interested in the dike system. Uh, built by the Acadian uh, between 1690 and 1755. Uh, this map shows for Gasparo, and I live in Bayvert, this house right here. And this is the view I have from the house. Um, the entrance of the river is up there. Uh, Bayvert is here. Um, I'm doing a lot of mapping. I'm pretty well equipped. Um, I need to do mapping and a grid system to identify the dike, try to uh, pinpoint the sluice. Uh, I also mark the post as it goes. Uh, I walk in the winter and dig down in the ice and uncover the base of the post and put tag on it with a stainless uh, steel uh, nails and screws. Um, um, I do Ariel pitcher. This is a uh, this raggy kite is uh, it's actually an high altitude kite. Believe me, it goes pre pre high. I uh, don't know if it's legal. Okay. Um, so also underground, uh, bury underground. A uh, distant tag so I can't uh, grid an area and document better. So, uh, in the winter, it's pretty smooth, it's pretty clear where things are, uh, but in the summer, it's all marsh and the place is very muddy and uh, the land is covered many places. So, I put those tags to try to identify the main feature and I use this as a reference for the measurement so if you find them uh, don't pull them out they're not collectible they're just reference tags for distance uh, I got uh, my 200 uh, feet uh, tape and I'm very well equipped my compass and everything GPS and uh, been doing that for some time now and uh, so the project, by the fall time, my idea is to um, uh, make a model of what the dike, uh, the area of Bayvert, not the old place, but at least Bayvert for the model of what it might uh, look like for the drainage and try to locate also the, the water mills and the houses. It'll be my guess and the... Uh, People live here, they have also the idea where things were at one time, uh, long, long lifetime resident here. They all visited the dike when it was in much better shape than today. So they are sharing their memory with me. And uh, pictures and maps and everything they have to, to, to help toward moving this forward. So thank you very much. And what else? Okay, so... Um, Wish me good luck, and if you have any information, if you found stuff at one point, uh, if you have a picture of the dike, what it looked like when you were visiting here in 1960, 1950, any time, any time in the past, um, I, I need those pictures too. So if I go on, on the spot and, and there was, uh, if there was like 30 posts and now I see 17, well, that's an information I need, okay? And... Uh,
100. This pose is at 209. Four hundred. This pose is at five hundred sixty two and six inches. Nine hundred. Nine oh eight. 